Hey Alex, uh, some feedback on your um, political paper design. Um, first of all, and this is design primarily, um, although I'll start out by saying that the, the paper is excellent. Um, obviously it's right in line with my beliefs, so I loved reading every bit of it. Um, a couple of minor errors in the writing. Um, errors in terms of either um, you know, what looked to be an incomplete sentence or um, a, a small spelling error somewhere over here in the over right hand side, this last column. I don't remember what it is, but, um, and I didn't mark it down when I was reading through it the first time. But for, for the most part, it's excellent, um, good logic, um, nice, um, uh, nice closing. And um, again, just right in line with what I feel in terms of pol a political stance. So you're preaching to the choir here. Good job. Uh, secondly, let's start with the design itself. In looking at the first page, this is excellent and very reminiscent of what you would see during the Art Nouveau uh, time frame, I believe. Uh, the series of different typefaces, uh, very, um, uh, very foo foo y in its overall. Um, presentation and I'm not sure that that's an appropriate design term but I think that explains what it is that that particular movement um, reflected and and again I'm, I'm kind of trying to remember if it was Victorian specifically or Art Nouveau but that's very similar in the overall layout and design. Um, the images are great and I'm thinking that you probably made if not all of them the majority of them so good job on those as well. Front page uh, wouldn't change a thing. As we get into the body of the um, of the design, uh, the column organization is excellent. Typeface um, typeface choices are very good, readable, um, interestingly um, aligned. You know, I see that you've done a full justified, or actually probably a full justified with last line left aligned um, organization in your columns. That's tough to get the um, the alignment correct without rivers of white and for the most part you've done an excellent job here. Um, so some of these you know are a little bit have a little bit of white going on in the columns that you would expect not to see um, but again overall excellent in terms of the the spacing and the typeface choices. Uh, full disclosure again just going back to reading the content I, <laughs> I love that that's so in line with what I would believe and I think that this, um, the overall layout, however, with this capital letter, I'm not sure if it would have uh, looked more inviting with a drop cap rather than a raised cap. Um, so I might try that and it might, again, maybe you did and you didn't like the right hand smaller column that it left because I'm sure that would have been an issue too, but overall excellent. The, um, this typeface and I'm not sure if it's larger well I know it's larger but I'm not sure if you tracked it a little bit wider because it seems to be stretched more horizontally and so I would definitely take a look at that and see what um, see what the issue was with that but overall excellent layout interesting um, illustrations that you've done throughout the layout it definitely helps the um, accessibility of the type and interest in getting into the type uh, in an area you know quite um, Quite, quite body copy heavy, I guess. Changes that I would recommend if you were going to include this. Um, I might make the columns a little bit wider, and I know that's going to increase probably another page um, by doing so. The size of the type is excellent. I would not recommend that you ch change that. I like the two column organization. I just feel like because um, it's pretty text heavy that um, giving more white space around the columns would give your eyes more resting room and again make it a little bit more accessible in terms of wanting to sit down and read this. Um, the corporations are people too. That's excellent and I like the way that you've given that added space. Really that's a perfect opportunity though for you to also use some of the Victorian era typeface design um, as a lead-in. Um, Again, thinking overall that if you added more space around this, you could do little corner, um, you know, corner 
uh, glyphs or something of that sort that would also beef up the inside much like you have the um, over-the-top design on the outside or the cover as well. Um, I especially like the way that you've put the work cited and again I'm thinking you probably illustrated a lot of this um, that's excellent or used as glyphs that's perfectly acceptable as well. Uh, work cited is um, correct in its layout. I think in terms of the overall uh, organization of it, I would again leave a little bit more eye space around the um, exterior of the type. Um, really for organization though, again it's excellent, um, readable, nice illustrations to accompany it, definitely reflects that particular style, Victorian era or um, art nouveau. And um, I'm thinking again that um, I would change up, if you're going to use this for a portfolio page, I would change up a couple of things on this particular portion of the layout, but overall excellent. Nice job, Alex. I, I don't, would have to say that you've, you've come in, you know, a long ways relative to